some funky wood. Despite the heavy rain, stuff looks fairly dry. Um, what I'll use this for? Two things. One, I could try to get a fire going with the empty bick. Or two, I can use this to, uh, oh, just on the, I just want the outside. I can use this to keep my uh, fire chain going. That same one I've got going since, um, since the, basically midwinter. Using that one spark that hit that piece of chaga. I need the cedar bark. Hmm, not my favorite type though, but pull it apart later. Strands. There we go. Okay, here's the fire situation. I've got, uh, these are the rocks I found earlier. I broke them up. Some puffy wuffy stuff. I don't even know what it is, but I found it. And uh, there's the punk wood. This is a kind of interesting uh, little bird's nest I made. It has punk wood with um, yellow birch and um, cedar bark. If that doesn't work, I don't know what will. So my options are, here's what I got to start fire. Basically, my knife. This is um, charred uh, punk wood from the fire chain. I'm still running for, uh, I basically started that in the winter time with a piece of chaga. And I have this empty Bic lighter. So I got a, I got a couple couple options here. Um, maybe I'll mess around, see if I can ignite this punk wood with the empty Bic lighter first. I'm pretty sure that fluffy wuffy stuff will go right up, and then catch on the other things with the tinder bundle. But let's try the um, empty Bic lighter on the punk wood first. It's gonna be a little harder. Temperature dropped a bit. A little bit of dew in the air. But, uh, and of course it was at five inches of rain we had yesterday. That's five inches, that's kind of a lot in one shot. But, let's give it a try. First up, we're gonna see if we can catch uh, some kind of a uh, spark with a coal in this punk wood. I don't know, I'm gonna try. This Bic lighter, empty Bic lighter concoction I made. We have a call. And the call went out. Ah, all right. I'm gonna try it again. See if we can, if we get the call, I'm gonna see if I can catch it on a larger piece of punk wood. If this fails. Whoops, wrong side. Hmm, doesn't want to hold the coal though. It'll catch it, doesn't want to hold it. Hmm. All right. Try one more shot. Oh, that's actually on fire. How did I screw that one up? Hmm.
Okay. That caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to catch on fire like that. All right, let's try, um, I was surprised this stuff didn't, um, I was surprised that didn't, uh, There we go. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually uh, a little surprised that that um, punk wood basically ignited with an empty pick lighter. Usually I'll, I'll get a coal with it, uh, or something. I failed to get a coal in the past too. But, um, okay, I guess uh, empty pick lighter will potentially ignite it. Is that right? I'm kind of surprised at that. gonna be a very small fire. Going pretty quick though. I'm really surprised that punkwood, which is out in that heavy, heavy rain, actually burst into flames. I'm kind of, um, I didn't say burst into flames, but it did catch a flame. All right, uh, a little surprised, but uh, okay, uh, fire started with an empty bick. There it is. Everyone saw it. And if you can do it with the empty bic, you can do that with a spark light. Same difference, really. I didn't even have to get into the, um, the flint and steel. Kind of actually, um, it's always a little anticlimactic. I was hoping for, well, it is what it is. I guess I have a fire. I can't really complain about it. All right, I'm going to test this fluffy stuff that I uh, found. Empty bic lighter. Oh! <laughs> well, um, that would have worked. I would have needed something to catch that, though, like the birch bark or something to catch the uh, the flashover from it. Kind of like you do need with uh, cattail. All right, I'm gonna turn this fire.